Well, Artsakh is part of ancient Armenia, and Stalin in the Soviet days with his divide and rule tactics cut this little bit of ancient Armenia off and put it inside Azerbaijan. But of course that left the Armenians of Karabakh in a very vulnerable position as part of Azerbaijan with the war which was at the most high intensity conflict of the early 90s. Baroness Cox arrived here on a humanitarian mission in 1991 to help set up the first rehabilitation center at the height of the war and she's been back a whopping 85 times. When I was in the capital Stepanakert, I used to count 400 bombs hitting Stepanakert every day for a long time. And they aimed their guns, would you believe, particularly at the schools, the churches, and the hospitals. War crime after war crime was committed by Azeri gunners and planes. Anyone who spent any time in Nagorno-Karabakh knows that it is part of Armenia. There can be no question about that. The people of Nagorno-Karabakh have exercised their right to self-determination by declaring independence from Azerbaijan. And the wait is on for this to be recognized. I understand now why we Armenians never give up and why the people here say, Mengenk Mersarenk, we are our mountains. One of the things I really admire and love about Armenian people is Armenians are people who don't only survive, survive genocide, survive attempted ethnic cleansing in Karabakh, but they create beauty from the ashes of destruction. And every time I go back to Artsakh, you know, I see new buildings, but they're not just new buildings. They're buildings of beauty with incredible aesthetic style. Now, this was in ruins only 25 years ago, and I'm looking around. And it seems incomprehensible that that was like that. Indeed, it was completely ruined. Only a few maybe uh, buildings remained, uh, which were tumbled down to. As a nation, uh, we were formed uh, some five, 10,000 years ago, and we're still living here. So uh, it's a very old and ancient place, and it was always been a, uh, it has been a part of Armenian kingdom since times in, in memorial. Everybody who visits Armenia should also uh, visit Artsakh. You know, it's one of the maybe very few biblical places which still on the map of the world. I kind of get the sense, the feeling, that it's very family orientated here. Yeah, exactly. Because family always uh, has been uh, maybe one of the key bases uh, of our national identity. I'm guessing family support is just one of the reasons this place not only survives, but thrives.